you have to want to solve problems, even if you're told, you know, hey, things are done a certain way all the time. Uh, you want to give a little bit of pushback occasionally because a lot of the times they can be done better. But I'd love to hear more from your perspective, one, about how you got into the field of data science, how you got interested in data science in the first place, and uh, where that's taken you from there. I joined a computer science undergraduate degree expecting to get into the world of software. I was always inclined towards this standard nerd geek, and it was a letdown. I was expecting to learn so many things, uh, the course didn't live up to the expectations. So I decided instead of me complaining with my friends every evening over chai of how ridiculous the syllabus is, I could A, keep complaining or try to fix in the gaps. So I tried uh, joining. We had a lot of student clubs, fortunately, in my uh, university. And I joined all of them one by one, just trying to figure out what's really interesting. I've seen a lot of hackers on TV. Why, why not try that terminal thingy that happens, you know, typing code really fast, see what, what way that leads me to. Eventually, after uh, joining a few clubs, switching through them, I was offered leadership of these because uh, the teams were doing really well. And uh, that wasn't interesting to me because I didn't want to be leading a group, group of people. I wanted to learn from them. And just going through that cycle, I discovered deep learning and machine learning. So th that was the first time I heard of these topics. And I asked my advisors, can I, can I try this topic? Almost universally, I was told, and this was around 2015, 2016, that's a topic for masters or PhD students. Please stay away from that. You should learn algorithms and all that stuff. I was like, all right, let, let me try deep learning then. I, I accept the challenge. So that's, that's how I started. Uh, that's, that's a long story, but that was a broad start. That's awesome. Well, I really want to highlight a couple of things about that story. One thing that I think a lot of students are scared to do is to join clubs or to get involved at school. Uh, those are some of the best places to experiment with new technologies, experiment with different things in a very low pressure environment. Everyone else is a student. Everyone else is also learning. And these things can lead to incredibly valuable opportunities. Uh, in, my, in my interview with Tina Huang, uh, her best practical work experience came through one of the clubs she joined at school. So she was able to get a, a consulting job uh, or like a, you know, a, a pro bono consulting client through, I think it was the consulting club. And she picked up all the data uh, science, data analytics activities. And that was the number one thing people asked for during her interview process. So turning that to you, it's like, you know, you joined multiple of these, you experimented. And I really, really like um, that, that process and that kind of openness to trying new things. I also love your, um, uh, your willingness to be challenged. You not necessarily going with the grain because that's a very important thing with data science, right? As a data scientist, you have to ask tough questions. You have to want to solve problems. Even if you're told, you know, hey, things are done a certain way all the time. Uh, you want to give them a little bit of pushback occasionally because a lot of the times they can be done better. Completely agree with you. And this is not to mention that, hey, I learned a lot. Of course, at, at an undergrad level, you wouldn't learn a lot. But if you have a slight head start ahead of your peers, uh, you're not going to learn from them. So just to mention a few of the groups, we were working on autonomous underwater vehicles, so like a submarine, and we competed that, competed in these clubs. Uh, we won a few competitions in the international level. The thing about these clubs is you get outside of interacting with people on these teams that really have all this figured out, you get to learn from them. You also get to meet other competitors, for example, if you're working with a team that competes at some level. So you get all of that exposure, which is somewhat counterintuitive if you just stay within a campus, assuming there's no pandemic happening. 